And news overseas tributes to former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe are pouring in after he was assassinated delivering a campaign speech. Meanwhile, the question of who will replace Boris Johnson as the Prime Minister of Britain remains. These and other global events in this foreign news wrap up by Meg Luna. Messages from leaders around the world have poured in after former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was assassinated while delivering a speech at a campaign event in Nara City, Japan. This include those of France, United Kingdom, Italy, China, Singapore, New Zealand, and the Philippines, as well as heads of international organizations like NATO. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has condemned what he calls a sneaky barbaric attack, but declined to comment on the political implications of the shooting. Following Mr. Boris Johnson's resignation, the race to succeed him as the leader of the Conservative Party heats up. According to local reports, a former health secretary, a senior backbencher, and an attorney have announced plans to replace Johnson as the leader of the party. In other news, U.S. President Joe Biden is set to sign an executive order on Friday to help safeguard women's access to abortion and contraception. This after the Supreme Court last month overturned the Roe v. Wade decision that legalized abortion. Meanwhile, Biden has awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States, to 17 people, including two Olympic athletes, gymnast Simone Biles and footballer Megan Rapinoe, as well as Oscar winning actor Denzel Washington, who was not able to attend due to COVID-19 infection. Meg Luna for The Nation.